Glenn Close is a true Hollywood star. Her incredible acting versatility and intelligence has brought her acclaim not only on film, but also on the Broadway stage and in TV. Born in 1947 in Greenwich, Connecticut, at seven her parents joined the spiritual cult Moral Rearmament. And it wasn't until she was 22 that she broke free to attend college. And it was in the theatre department that she first trained to become a serious actress. She began her professional stage work in 1974 and her film career in 1982. Her performance in her very first movie, The World According to Garp, was so impressive that she was nominated for an Oscar. It was a character she felt very passionate about. She was much more than just a strong woman. She was a real eccentric. She was a bizarre character. That was a great character. Um, I think it's a lot of fun playing disturbed people as an actor. It's, it's you know, you get to kind of flex your emotional muscles a little bit more, maybe. And you don't get more disturbing than Glenn's breakout role in 1987's Fatal Attraction. Alongside Michael Douglas, she played Alex, who won't accept being dumped after a one-night stand with a married man and turns into the terrifying bunny boiler. The behaviour was so disturbing, Glenn actually gave the script to several psychiatrists to analyse. They said it was absolutely possible, which made it even more shocking. What is controversial is that it's a woman who says, I'm not going to tolerate this kind of treatment anymore. Then she goes further than that. But I think the things that my character says for a good portion of the film that a lot of women relate very closely to, and it seems to have touched a very, very sensitive nerve. She freaked me out, and Glenn is sure her psychotic performance has stopped many men from cheating, saving countless marriages. She loves to keep her costumes and props and has the fatal knife hanging in her kitchen as a way of saying, don't mess with me. And after seeing the movie, we certainly won't. Between 1983 and 1989, Glenn's work earned a staggering five Oscar nominations. Although she's actually never won, she always says the right things. The process of, of choosing the best among five very, very different actresses in very, very different roles, to me, is, becomes rather arbitrary. And I don't know really what goes into that final decision. But to be included among the five, I think, is a great honour. She often jokes she is mistaken for good friend Meryl Streep, just not on Oscar night. With a wild imagination from an early age, Glenn always dreamt of being an actress. But after having her daughter in 1987, she realised there was more to life. I still feel fiercely um, dedicated to my work and very excited by it. But I also have a child, so that kind of uh, gives you another perspective in life. Now I'm a mother and it, make, it really makes you much more politically aware and um, it makes me feel um, just more uh, aware of, of the kind of future our government is, is willing for our society and I don't think they're doing a good job as far as the future is concerned. While Glenn has played an incredible range of unforgettable roles, she always makes sure the films she picks have two elements in common, a great storyline and a talented cast and crew. The process is the most important thing, the actual work process. And so I try to choose projects that I think are not only wonderful stories and, and well-written, but I, but I choose um, projects very much because of the people I'll be working with, because that's how I spend my time. Yeah. And I want to have wonderful experiences and positive experiences. Glenn constantly learns from and is inspired by observing the people she works with. I think I'm quite an instinctive actor, but I love to be surrounded by people who challenge those instincts, because I don't think necessarily they're the most interesting way of doing something. You know, if you have a strong instinct, it's, you know, don't know really where it comes from, but there might be more interesting ways, so that's why I, I depend very much on the director and, and my fellow actors that I'm, that I'm working closely with. Famous for playing strong women with an edge, over the years she's made diverse role choices. From Queen Gertrude in Hamlet, to the Vice President of America in Air Force One, and the classic wicked woman Cruella de Vil in 101 Dalmatians. She also loves to explore different cinematic genres, like with the science fiction comedy Mars Attacks, to the heartbreaking war drama Paradise Road, 
each role interesting her for a different reason. Sometimes I do something just for the sheer fun of it. For, um, Mars Attacks, I wanted to work with Tim Burton for a long time and I never thought he would ever ask an actress like me to be in his movie, right. so I was so thrilled to do that and it was, it was just a lot of fun. And other movies take a lot more energy and concentration like 101 Dalmatians and Paradise Road, a lot longer uh, commitment and time. A testament to her talent, Glenn is constantly offered a wide range of roles across multiple mediums. Adding to her film accolades, she's had equal success on the stage, winning three Tony Awards and she often sings the national anthem for the New York Mets. She has also been rewarded for her television work, earning an Emmy for 1995's Serving in Silence and most recently she won a Golden Globe and two Emmys for her current role in the series Damages. In the press conference after her Emmy win, she was as eloquent and candid as always. Do you have days where you go, oh, I can't do this, I don't feel confident, or...? Um, usually that's when I'm creating the character. Um, I've, I've been shy in front of some of the characters I've been asked to play, and uh, if, I, if I'm really having a hard time kind of finding the voice, I'll go to Harold Guskin, who's a wonderful acting coach who I've known for many, many years, and I'll pick one scene that I think is kind of a seminal scene, and I'll be willing to make a total asshole of myself <laughs> in that room to get over the barrier of of not being able to give myself permission. And I mean, I think with the, the pace of television, you only hope that you can think of everything that's something that's interesting, you know, it's uh... In Damages, Glenn plays what she regards as one of the juiciest parts on TV in years, a high profile litigator, Patty Hughes. Since her early TV work, Glenn is seeing a new style of television with superior storylines and outstanding writing, the process feeling more like making a really long movie. I think what we're creating that was pioneered really by the Sopranos um, are mega movies. They're 13 hour long movies, right. happen to be on television, but like movies now people will see them on their iPhones and on their computers and on their whatever the new media is. You know, I think what we're creating is going to be very much a part of it. What Glenn is most interested in is stories about real people and experiences that make an emotional connection with the audience. I would hope that there will always be some audience who wants to see those kinds of movies. I think we have to be reminded that we're human beings <laughs> and that we're individuals uh, and not some group to be marketed. Uh, you know, and we're not just some, you know, big mass that they're trying to sell something to. In 2009, Glenn's incredible body of work was honoured with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Glenn Close. Um, that's an iconic name if I've ever heard one. A name immediately associated with words like excellence, grace, power, and talent. Overwhelming, awe-inspiring talent. Like so many other actors around the world, Glenn had always represented what I aspired to as an actor. She is one of the greatest artists of her generation. And it, that's right. And in my humble estimation, she sits in the, on the pantheon, uh, in the pantheon of the greatest actresses who've ever lived. When asked what is the secret to her highly successful acting career spanning three decades, her answer is simple. So much of acting is just sheer imagination and being able to imagine yourself in the context of that character, to imagine what their thoughts are. And it's something I've been doing ever since I was a little, little girl, just pretending. I don't think it's that much different. Now in her 60s, with an incredibly successful career that shows no signs of slowing up, the ever elegant and graceful Glenn Close says it's the happiest time of her life. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love, broadcasting glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.